Добро пожаловать на Snoring Get Play. У нас новая, замечательная. Надеюсь, вам она придется по вкусу серия. Все еще ждем оптимизации, но продолжаем сюда возвращаться, потому что тянет и манит и невозможно. Я только что закончил делать видосик один и 5 утра, но не отпускает. Погнали. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. <gasps> oh. oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still... I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello! Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug.
should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. Ой, я тоже знаю это заклятие. А, и все? I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Вы готовы через 9 минут. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Hey, не поворачивайся ко мне спиной. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping. Go on, grab a few of them. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Отпустите этап, чтобы использовать. Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the de-gnoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Just because those cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cat has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. 
Но это восхитительно. Мне на самом деле очень понравилось. Это, правда, слишком коротко было. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Да, давайте вы там сами что-нибудь варите. А я посижу, у меня нога болит. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Keep your potion stations organized and free of clutter. Revelio. В последнее время возле магазина Горбин и Беркс наблюдается нездоровое оживление в неурочные часы, особенно после полуночи. К черному ходу доставляют подозрительного вида свертки. С учетом репутации магазина мы решили увеличить число мракоборцев, ведущих наблюдение. Вы входите в их число. Ага. Не просто так. У него еще и нога. Поломанная, больная. Что-то парнишка серьезный какой-то. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Should you chop the dipney or crush it? The 
Сварите зелье, используя разблокированный рецепт и стенд для зелья варенья. Рецепты и ингредиенты можно приобрести в определенных магазинах. Окей, понятно. Ага, еще и нужно будет подождать. А процесс никак нельзя ускорять? Ну, то есть, мне реально просто нужно вот смотреть на это 20 секунд. Ладно, окей, если ты ждешь, когда вырастет растение, но... Хотя, тоже, да, готовка, но, блин, это все равно как-то... Анимации мне нравятся, все очень, очень сочненько выглядит. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Пособница? А откуда он знает? I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Ну, он мракоборец, так что в принципе не удивительно, что каким-то хером он догадался. Ладно. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Все, валить ублюдки. Но мне нравится это весело. Это очень смешно местами. Только я все равно не понимаю, как он умудрился узнать, что это я. Волосатый ночной колпак. Ага, у меня как раз нет головного убора. О, 15 защиты. Потрясающе. Мой внешний вид становится все более и более диким. Кабинет по изучению тварей. Кабинет, хотя может быть это хижина по изучению тварей. М -м, как, как вам такой вариант? Ох, что волшебные растения, так весело, так забавно, так приятно. Ну, а смотрите, еще грибочек. Потом как наварим отвар из мухоморов, как нас заглючит, будет жестко. Тот самый гнутый мост, о боже. Удивительно, что игра стала более-менее работать с тех пор, как я отключился от большого монитора и как я обновил драйвера. Потому что предыдущий опыт прям, ну прям, сильно тяжело мне давался. О, каноничные камушки. Круто. Птички тусуются, кайф. Ладно, давайте, нам осталось всего лишь 200 метров пробежать. 
Боже, какая красота. Так, ну на нем огонь. Так, видимо, его надо поджечь, да? Давайте попробуем. Incendio. Я думал, оно... Ребёса же должна вроде как поднимать его. Ладно, окей. Окей. Так. Ой, а что это такое? Ладно, с этим предстоит потом разбираться тоже обязательно. Возможно, у меня нет каких-нибудь заклинаний необходимых для этого. Ячейки заполнено, так бывает. Можно было бы предположить, что этот набор инструментов следует заколдовать, чтобы использовать для создания всевозможной мебели для уютной хижины любых, даже самых невероятных размеров. I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibililand. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Все, ah, спасибо. Yes. Я с тобой еще поговорю. О, а что это украсить? Ну, наверное, какие-то враги. Ну как, наверное, скорее всего. Инцендио! 
Вот это прикол. А что, с них ничего не выпадает даже? Ну ладно, окей, в любом случае прикольно. Огромное спасибо за просмотр. Обязательно ставьте лайки, пишите комментарии. И мне кажется, это прекрасно. Смотрите, книжки полетели. Увидимся, когда увидимся на Снуринг Эдплей.